on when you get near the fountain. Hopefully I'll be able to get people... I'll send the most rested, or at least the least fatigued, I should say, units to cut them off and get some... get them spread out so I don't have them all chase one single unit. See, what happened around here is I had Wind and Morris ahead of everybody, and they were taking these uh, parks, and in doing so, gained the ire of everybody in the area. And it, once they did, no, not you, you need rest. Alright, I'm gonna send Ankaseth this way. Okay, that's great, thank you. And I'll send Wind this way. And because they were all alone, they eventually broke down because they don't have as many heals as other units do. And they just got, like, a character or two and their unit would die. And the problem is I only had two resurrection altars of resurrection. I still only have two altars of resurrection, but yeah. That's a flare brass in the back, though. That might be trouble. Crimson note. C flat. I don't know anything about notes or how to read them or what or how to even identify them. So, sure, C flat. Thankfully, we have more than enough healing. I haven't used any elemental pedras yet either, but that's because I haven't really needed them. By this point, I'd use all my elemental pedras in the last attempt. <laughs> I wasn't nearly as cautious in the last episode. Or last attempt of this episode, I should say. Alright, Book of Birth. Thank you, Seth. Back to the stronghold so you can rest. Alright, so we have a similar problem over here. Bolt, you're more than rested enough. Morris, you're fine. Sphinx! The Sphinx is one of the things that specifically caused me trouble. They can deal a massive amount of damage. So be careful. Tempest should handle most of that trouble, though. I'm gonna go ahead and use a Pedra. I don't need it. I shouldn't need it, but I am going to be very careful. Because, like I said, I failed this once, and I really, really, really don't want to lose three people in this unit, because I cannot afford to bring them back. They're gonna need a good amount of time to rest, but everybody does, because our fatigue is fairly high across the board. So, wind back to Archer Park. The events in the east should be keeping us busy for a while. Morris is after O'Neill. Now this, this is a scary group. This is the kind of stuff you'd think to see at the end game. Oh boy. At least we got rid of one of them, but that was the weakest member of their unit, so... Between Evil Dead and a Cerberus attack. The Cerberus attack dealt less than I was expecting, but I was also expecting him to attack Morris. Oh, and a crit from Morris takes out the dragon. Whew, I was worried about this unit fight, but Morris pulls through as usual. Alright, back to base, Morris. We'll take on Katsu. Fairly scary. I'd rate it 
as scary as the last unit if they switch to Cetros and the Cerberus. What the? Um. Is she gonna come back? Because I. Uh, oh. 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 Yeah. That didn't go well. Really hope, really, really hope I can revive both of them. Uh, first, if I check status, as long as she shows up as dead, okay. Okay. Head on back home, Bolt. We need you to use some Altars of Resurrection. And those are my last ones. Everything else has to be flawless. You go after Katsu. He seems to be stuck on a, a building. And now it's a matter of waiting for everybody's fatigue slash health to recover while being in the strongholds. And dead. Far less of a threat, Sphinxes, when they're in the front row and rather than the back. Oh, their magic damage is just monstrous, though. Honestly, I'd rate them as one of the most dangerous enemies in the game. Just flat out. I mean, they're kind of supposed to be. I mean, they're a, a unit or character type, monster type, I should say, that only shows up late game. So yeah, they should be threatening. Anyway, once Bolt gets back and just to base and gets the Altar of Resurrection stuff done, I'll be back and we'll head up north and finish and try and finish these two guys at the last gate before the boss. Alright, I managed to resurrect Bolt's group. I'm gonna double check everyone's status to see who's ready to go and who isn't. Jody, you're healthy enough. Kane. Healthy. Angaseth. Healthy. Alright. Whoops. Hey, Kaseth, Kane, and Jody can head forward. Wind needs more time to rest. Same thing over here. Myself. I'm ready to go. Morris. Oops, do you need healing? Nope, you're more than fine. Leia. More than fine. All right, everybody's charging, except for Kodro and Bolt, who's trying to catch up. And Wind, because Wind needs more rest. I wonder what's behind these last doors. I didn't get this far before. Inkaseth versus Carlson. Leaving yourself exposed right down the middle as per usual. Alright, let's see their counterattack. Oops, interrupt command. I certainly didn't mean to press that. Eh, not a very good counterattack, I'm afraid. And one more jihad. Kills two of their characters. All we have left are two Lonely Knight Templar. Alright, so this door is more than secure at this point. Morris... Let's see what you can do. That ogre kind of worries me. Not that it should, I suppose. As he just clean up Satros as if it were nothing. Hmm. 
One health. One bloody hit point. <laughs> uh, wasted turn for that Black Knight, but whatever. We're still gonna wipe out their entire unit, so I suppose whether or not we were 100% efficient doesn't matter. I feel bad for Count, to be honest. We're right at the end of the game, we're doing one of the biggest missions that we can do, and the poor guy is stuck at base. But that's the nature of the class. It just can't move during the day, and these missions specifically are very, very slow time-wise, so it's day for most of the mission. I'm certainly not going to wait until it's night for him to, uh, so he can participate. That would be hours. Alright, door open. I'm not going to bother fixing the camera because we're open. Alright, now I fix the camera. Wind. You've rested enough. Kane, I'm gonna send you out here. Leia, you out here. I want you guys to lure them ahead. Lure them to us, I should say. While everybody else gathers in the middle. Including you, Kotro. Jody and Agaseth. Meet in the middle as well. <sighs> One more door. We don't see anything there yet. I think it, we should be in range. That unit's yours. That unit's yours. Let's see what we're dealing with first. Two ogres and a knight templar. An ogre, a knight templar, and two goblins. Richard the Dragonheart. What's your unit like? Oh. That is very mean. Kind of unnecessary, too. Yeesh. Well, it's too bad. He's in the middle and easy to be attacked. So unless they survive long enough, to attack me, the dragons, that is. Unless he survives long enough for the dragons to attack me, I should say. I'm not terribly worried. And put both the ogres to sleep. Alright. And they're asleep again. I love Leia's unit. With that evil sword putting individual characters to sleep and atmosphere managing to put the entire group to sleep in various times. It's just a really powerful unit. And they try and specialize in physical attacks on the back row, but Leia's Leia. She's a Valkyrie, slash Freya, which means she has enough defense to survive that kind of punishment. All right, I'm just gonna go ahead and push forward. Wind, push forward. I'm gonna send everybody, except for obviously Bolt, Kane, and Leia, up the middle now. And petrified your leader. Not that he was a particularly high damage character in your unit. Ooh, nice guard, Troy. Nice guard, everybody, wow. Managed not to take damage that turn. That's a little insane. Wipe them out, boys. <laughs> wow. Kane's unit is just like, why heal? Why bother? We're just not going to take damage. Alright, let's get everybody on the path, shall we? Yep, bet Jody. 
Oh, right. Kodro. I'm also not gonna send Kodro up north yet. For reasons I would hope are obvious. Two lonely ogres. Hopefully the last ogres of this conflict. Well, except for the one in the other unit. <laughs> right, forgot him. At this point, I wouldn't be surprised if there were units that are higher level than my own, because I've still been holding off on using my unit so often. And camp. Kane. Eh, well, you're not going to move faster than I am. You have to get on the path first. Bolt needs rest. So, I can't... It's really hard for some reason to push... Because this is the limit of the mouse. Or pointer, I should say. That's as far up it'll go. So I kept pushing up, and it was not scrolling the screen like it would normally do it. Oh well. Here we are. Time to end your madness, Richard. I never thought that you would fare this well against the Calignus Order. Do you realize what it means to resurrect Donica? You're going to start the Ogre Battle and involve the entire world just so your goal can be attained? Why haven't I told you enough that the ends justify the means? With the ultimate power, we will build a new, perfect world. Those who are superior cannot put their abilities to good use, while worthless fools reign only because of their lineage. Do you not think it is wrong? I am sure you are already aware. Perhaps it is wrong. That doesn't mean you're right. Absolutely. But at the same time, it is difficult to practice ideals. While well, you seek a better path, the world continues to degrade. For the realization of ideals, those with power, absolute power, are essential. Power unattainable by mere humans. We are worthy of holding it. We will lead this world. You do not understand? If you refuse to accept the truth, that is fine. Perish with your corrupt world. Do I sense a note of desperation, Richard? Let's see if you can survive our first attacks. Oh, a guard! Congratulations! And he wields a blessed sword. Just like the type of self-righteous individual who would think that he has the right to completely destroy a world to replace it. I was worried about my paladin for a moment there. And I still am. The Azi Dahaka can only kill either my Seraph or my Paladin. Can't kill my Seraph because she flies. But my Paladin... I think he had a shield or something that specifically blocks fire attacks. That's why I dealt so little damage to him. Ah, never mind. Apparently he's just really good at blocking magic. <laughs> I'm sorry, Richard, but this is how it ends. No matter how noble you think your cause, can't let you just decimate everything. Is this the end? No, not yet. If we can gain the ultimate power, then... Once again, he runs away. Him and his brother are two peds in a pod. The Eurasian is what we found. Baldwin, why are you still here? What do you think you're doing? Go and break the seal! I've had enough. I'm sick and tired of you telling me what to do. So 
Stop being absurd and go get the ultimate power. Tell me, what am I to you? You never change. You look down on me and others, thinking that you're superior. Thamuz took care of us since our father died, but you didn't care when he was killed. Not only that, but you used his death for your own end. Richard, I won't let you have the ultimate power. Everything will be mine. I will become a god. Almost feel sorry for you if you weren't such a bastard. Be strong. Live on your own. My dear brother. For you, I can anything. It always seemed to me in his own weird way, Richard was actually a very loyal and in an odd way loving brother. But in a family that uh, I guess twisted is the word to use. That's not a virtue. Thank you very much for watching, folks, and I'll see you next time. Mount Kyrieleth, the final battle.